ground was recently broken for a new wellness center. It, was, it will serve as a health clinic and resource center. It's called a MORE, which stands for the Alliance for Medical Outreach and Relief. The executive director says health care services provided there will be affordable. Here now with more on the project and how this clinic will really impact the Valley, let's bring in Executive Director of AMORE, Davina Witcher. Welcome. Thank you so much for having us. We're so excited to have you, and this is such an exciting project. Tell us a little bit about AMORE. Sure. Well, AMORE has been around for 10 years, and um, our, our first project is in Kabul, Afghanistan. We have a 100-bed hospital and 10 clinics there, treat wow. about 100,000 patients a year. So it's a very robust project that has provided brought us a lot of um, experience in how to work with communities that are very challenged when it comes to resources um, and kind of understanding how more difficult systems work. And that's some of the talent that we're bringing to our Mendota project. Wow. And I mean, this has been a huge journey for you guys. You just had the groundbreaking. We just had the groundbreaking on Friday. It was phenomenal. You know, Maddie, I. We have, we've been working on this for about four years and putting together a coalition of agencies that are county and nonprofit and governmental and, you wow. know, but to see everybody come together and turn out and show up for Mendota in such a powerful way was just inspiring. <laughs> I can only imagine. I mean, it's been a huge journey for you guys. How, how important is this going to be for Mendota? You know, it's not just Mendota, right? So many of organizations organizations have known for a long time that our Central Valley is very underserved when it comes to any resource that you want to talk about. I don't know if you're a, a Central Valley native or how much you know about Mendota, but it actually was started by farm labor when the California state laws changed about housing. And so when migrant labor was coming through the Central Valley to pick crops, um, they used to stay at the farm where they worked. Um, but when housing laws changed, then Mendota spread up as a place for farm labor to actually live together gotcha. um, and so it is very low resource there's not a bank there's not a pharmacy wow. and so when Amore started looking for a place to do a second project in the Central Valley those were some of the things that attracted us was that um, here was a community that is truly the backbone of our industry here in the Central Valley and yet they don't have the basic resources that you and I take for granted every day and so um, we always talk about health care because that's our foundation mm -hmm. um, but we realized in order to be sustainable that that medical care needed to be wrapped around a way that um, would provide for Medi-Cal patients and still be sustainable for the organization that was doing the services. And so that's how we came to a hospital-based rural health clinic. And so they do get the larger Medi-Cal reimbursement rates because we know the entire population there is essentially Medi-Cal, mm -hmm. right? Um, and then, of course, um, behavioral health services are another challenge. So many of the residents in our rural communities are immigrants from areas like El Salvador or in Mexico where the gangs are really prevalent. And so to have those behavioral health services for especially the children as they're coming into school um, to support and wrap around them so that they can, um, they can thrive once they get to school age are essential. And so we're delighted with our partnership, Fresno County Superintendent of Schools and Behavioral Health. It's going to be out in this hub as well. That's, I mean, that's huge to have something so central for them to make it so much easier. Yes. Oh, if they're planning, once you guys open, what are some of the services you guys are going to be offering? So besides those, um, there's just a plethora of social services. Um, Marjorie Mason Center will be there. Learn for Life, which is a charter school that picks up um, the students who traditional education hasn't worked for them, mm -hmm. um, gets them back on that path and gets them actually to a diploma, not just a GED, and then also has dual enrollment programs. We're partnering with West Hill College to get some of their uh, medical students through the clinic as wow. to do their intern hours. Um, we'll have the food bank out there. Um, you're asking me for a list off the top of my head and they should have no, had I it mean, written. That's incredible. <laughs> I mean, all of that, not only now is it closer for everyone, I mean, it's a one-stop place. Well, and let me just comment on that because we, you know, close is such a huge um, component of this because yeah. transportation is a struggle. Um, not everyone out in our rural communities have a car. And then oftentimes, um, 
they have to borrow from a friend or they don't even have the gas money to come to Fresno to get services. Um, on top of that, if it's the picking season, then they'll have to miss a day of work, mm -hmm. which literally can mean food on the table for their family yeah. in order to come to Fresno to, to participate in the service that they need. So transportation being such a huge issue, having this hub of services right there for the community so they don't have to travel so often, right? Yeah. We can't do everything in the hub, but not so often um, we feel like we'll really encourage the community to take advantage of what is being offered. Absolutely and you guys just broke ground. Timeline wise when is it projected to open up? Yes so we are working very hard to be able before the school year starts in 2021. Awesome. Yes um, and so 20 20 and 21, so one year <laughs> is what I'm trying to say, yes. Um, it's really important um, that we get this constructed as quickly as we can. It took four years to get to this. Um, we're delighted by the support. We want to build on that momentum. Yeah. Um, and so summer of 2020 is what we're looking for. Awesome. Well, thank you so much thank for chatting you. with us. And good luck with everything. It sounds amazing. Thank you so much. Thanks.